Do, do, do. See some, uh, oh, that was me. It's the same color as your text, Fishy. I keep trying to relate my bot text, because... All right. I think I'm out of water. Yes, I am. We're almost done this though, and then I'm gonna take a meal break. Whoa. There we go. All right, guys, this might be it. Need something, darling? No. Oh, food. Can I help you? You know you can. Pardon? Oh, Jesus. I do not like having my time wasted. Stop that! Oh, don't, don't make me call the guards. Make a sound and you die. What do you want? He's in the harbor, at the long pier, most likely. We heard what happened at the parade. Charles got all nervous, said he was leaving the country. I thought he was overreacting. It's not. No. Uh, Thank you. Uh. All right. Far out, is he actually in the water? Okay, no, there's like a long pier. Can I get up top? Okay. 
Here we go. Go up here. There he is. Is that him? While expressing sincere condolences to the Brown family, Mr. Robert The kid laughs scare you. and it didn't let me. Oh shit! Okay, so we gotta go a different way. and wouldn't go. Like, what the fuck? No, so that's not the way to do it then. Where am I supposed to go? Okay, there we go. know which way I was supposed to go there. That was weird.
Nope. Just gotta run it, I think. Try this again. to do this like I don't remember how I did it last time the first time I played this that is all right fuck go oh my god okay Maybe I need to shoot people on the way. This is getting annoying. I'm just saying. Yes. Oh my god! What the hell? Dude fell on me and then it made me fail. I'm getting frustrated. It's happening. Even supposed to go once I get in there. I wish that it gave you a safe spot there, though. I really do, because that's getting annoying. Twitch connection is horrible. Shit, fucking hell, come on. I see it. Okay, so I went like way the wrong fucking way.
There we go. What we forge another. You try so hard, but it always ends the same. Those who know you think you mad. And this is why. Even those men you sought to save have turned their backs on you. Yet you fight. You resist. Why? You're running off as well? No, no worries, will. Fishy. I mean, I think we're almost done. This is probably close to the end, if not the end. And then I'm gonna take a meal break anyways. And then, No Man's Sky, because huge, massive update. We're gonna go find some f derelict freighters in space to explore. And to terrify us. You know, a lot of assassins kind of get going for the same reason. Revenge. Aside from Altair. So far, a lot of them have been for revenge. Makes you wonder if they're actually the good guys. Just a little bit. <laughs> Rough night, was it? He headed inland, a ferry up the Charles River. I will need passage as well. Of course. Only say the word. I'm not doing so hot.
That's like a hell of an ending. Why would they leave this behind? Ah, uh, long have we waited for you to return. You have done as we asked. You have succeeded. No, I have failed. My people are gone, chased out by those who I thought would protect them. It is a trade, a sacrifice, and not in vain. For you have found it. This? Now you must hide it, where none shall think to look. And then in time, in time, what once was shall be. Again. I do not understand. Nor need you. Only do as we ask. Then you may do as you wish. But what of my people? You have saved this place, as was your people's purpose, and that matters most. It is not enough. It will never be enough. You strive for that which does not exist. Still, you have made a difference, and you will do so again. Remember, you must hide the amulet where none might find it. Hmm. Well, at least nobody decided to put it in a safe filled with concrete and dump it in the ocean. <laughs> I mean, oh. I guess they might not have had concrete back then, but yeah, they could have filled it with like... Like, he even has a boat. He could have filled it with like rocks and shit. kind of cool it's his grave because he's not he doesn't want to be connor anymore <coughs> or just so that everybody thinks he's dead it's still interesting unless connor was his was um achilles like son's name and that's why he named him connor Cause that- the age was really young. So maybe that was Achilles' son's name or something. And that's why he named him Connor. Whoa. Cause it was like, 
Uh, 48 to... What was it? 48 to 77? Was that it? Or 58 to 77? I don't know. I didn't see. It's hard to say. I don't know. I need to actually look at stuff. Pay more attention. I was in fully looking at it. Oh. I know where the key is. Then let's go. I mean, you're assuming that nobody's found it yet. Be more amazing gravestones are there. Well, we're this still there. It. Well, that's kind of what I mean. Right like behind you. What would the chances be that it wouldn't have at least been overgrown and buried, even if naturally, if it wasn't completely developed on? Whoa. She said they had discs. I Ominous. threw them into the ab abyss, and this is a disc. So, but this is her disc. So she's the only one left. I wonder if that's what has like her memory and shit in it, like herself, or at least a part of it. Oh. Oh. Or like it would have unlocked something else. Maybe the spot to their area or something. tried of how we failed all our hopes extinguished save one your touch a spark a spark to save the world wait do not touch the pedestal Minerva you but how you left you destroyed the device did you think there was only one what the hell is going on here you must not free her. Free her? Juno dwells within these walls, awaiting release. I will explain. While we worked to save the world, she sought instead to conquer it. She used our machines to set her plans in motion. Divination through numbers. There is a pattern to existence. To comprehend the calculations, is to tame time. This was my focus. And so I built the eye to aid us, but she turned it towards her own ends. When we discovered her treachery, we put a stop to it, and then we left. But first we called to you, that you might try again. We thought it would be safe with her gone. Now I see we were deceived. She survived, she endured, and then she began to work. For centuries, Tinny and I walked the world, hoping to rekindle the spark of civilization. We shared what we knew as best we could. We were not the only ones, but for all the power we wrought, still death would claim us. But before it did, I would have one last look to know if we had succeeded. That's how you're here now? I had hoped you might find this place and finish our work. But it is too late. You and the Templars have squabbled over our refuse. You have wasted centuries, and so you have lost your chance. You cannot hope to stop the end now, Desmond. Only to survive. She's lying! Only touch the pedestal and the world will be saved. Better the world burn than she be loosed upon it. Is that so? Show him then. 
but he will not understand. It is complicated. It is... Show me. If you heed Minerva, the sun will have its way. The ground will crack and spit fire into the skies. All the world will burn. But this does not end the world. Merely heralds its arrival. Darkness follows. Then you emerge, resolving to lay a foundation that such a tragedy does not befall the world again. You will become a symbol to those who survive. Hope, knowledge, determination. You will inspire them to rebuild, to thrive once more. And as the world heals, so too will humanity. But you are just a man, frail and mortal. You pass from the world, leaving behind only a memory, a legacy. You will be remembered first as a hero, later as a legend, and in time, as a god. It is the cruelest fate to have written words that meant well, and see them made wicked and unwise. What was meant to encourage life, used instead to justify taking it. And so now you see that what was shall be again. So tell me, how is this better? She would sacrifice you, sacrifice the world, for no other reason than to deny me vindication. They will enslave your kind, Desmond. Is this not why you fight? Is this not why you came here? To ensure more than just your race's future, but its freedom? What future? What freedom? Billions dead and the whole cycle begun anew? This world has known nothing but heartache and horror since we left it. Our gift to them, and you'd see it all return. Enough! You must not do this. Whatever Juno's planning, however terrible it might seem today, we'll find a way to stop it. But the alternative, what you want, there's no hope there. If you free her, you'll be destroyed. It will happen in an instant. There will be no pain. You mustn't. It's done, Minerva. The decision's made. Then the consequences of this mistake are yours to live and to die with. You need to go. All of you. Now. Get as far away from here as you can. Come with us. We'll find another way. Damn there Twitch ruining time. you seeing the ending. Aww. Son, I mean, you can watch you know the VOD. It's already started. I need to do this now. So go. Go! Some sort of global aurora borealis. Never seen anything like this before. Eyewitnesses describe electrical storms and erratic displays of unusual weather. Residents are being asked to. Well, I mean, there's no choice at all, but. Geological surveys are now reporting kind of? activity throughout the Ring of Fire. Northeastern Canada is said to be experiencing the largest. On record, satellites and transformers are failing as the flare increases in intensity. Worldwide reports of blackouts and seems to be receding. Residual seismic and volcanic activity is being reported, but nothing approaching earlier levels. Obviously, it will be a while before experts are able to assess the full extent of the damage caused by today's event. But it appears the worst is behind us. We'll be sure to bring you more as this story develops. It is done. The world is saved. You played your part well, Desmond. But now, 
Now it's time that I play mine. I want to know. I'm trying to remember because I don't think she comes up again. Unless it's in the two, the one that I didn't play very much. Can I skip the credits? I cannot. I'm just waiting for the credits to stop because I want to make sure there's nothing after them. Or else, nothing else during them. But then I gotta get food. Probably gonna go for a while. Yeah, well, and that's the thing, right? Is I don't want to risk missing something. Oh god. Death Stranding, there was like three times when you thought it was over. <laughs> So, what does everybody think? I mean, obviously this game is old and everybody's probably seen the story. For the most part, anyways. How much did you miss, Mux? You're gonna have to go back and watch it. But yeah, I think I'm gonna... We'll, we'll start for next weekend. Next Saturday. Uh, and I'm probably gonna do some No Man's Sky after I eat. After I take a bit of a break. Luther, GG, yeah. Because there's this new patch, uh, there's a new update where there's like these derelict freighters in the sky, like in space, and they're procedurally generated inside. So, and apparently like there's horror elements and all sorts of shit, so I'm kind of excited to maybe go and find one. And I can put a teleport on my space station now. Like on my freight, on my own freighter now, so my capital ship. Which will be nice because that means that we'll be able to jump up and down to it and go on more adventures because we'll be able to easily get back to our base and then back to where we were exploring, which will be very nice. Ah, uh, what are we at? Level designers in Bucharest. I think we still got a bit to go. But yeah, so we'll do, uh, we'll start for next Saturday. Um, my uploads are coming along well. I think I'm almost through Mass Effect. Which was, I think, like, I'm on May of this year so far. So aside from the old stuff that's on the flaky hard drive that we gotta, I still have to try and figure out. Uh, it's going pretty well, I think. Hmm. Modelers, Ubisoft, Quebec. We're on audio. Oh, quality assurance. Try to 
figure if this thing is actually made like with teams from like all around the world and is that like fractured or if they're just literally giving like all of their staff for everywhere because so far we've had uh quebec uh bucharest singapore And I don't even know what places I miss. Done, guys. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me while we uh, do the Assassin's Creed stuff. I've been really... I've uh, been really looking forward to doing Assassin's Creed again, so it is nice actually doing it all. <laughs> Okay, this has got to be close to the end. But yeah, so what do you guys think of the new mic? It's cool. If I get loud, then you guys don't, like, get a distorted mess. It's awesome. Like I said, the only downside is the, the mixer troubles, but hopefully they figure out a workaround for that. You'll be disappointed if they don't update it to work with more. Well, and I mean, like I said, especially after our, our first attempt at the workaround, I kind of see their point. But at the same time, I feel like, why does it have to come through Slavs to the Wavelink and then back? Why can't they just take it directly, you know? I don't know. Even if you had to have, like, one small thing running in the background to take the input first and then pass it on. I don't know. I feel like there's got to be a way to make it work. Essentially, for those who don't know, this mic is absolutely amazing, and I love it. And the, uh... The software mixer is phenomenal. But Elgato, what Elgato doesn't say is that it essentially doesn't work with any capture cards. Except for two. Uh, at least of their own. So we're still kind of hoping for some updates and stuff. I mean, obviously, as you can see, I got some workarounds going, but I can't run the game sound through the capture card. Which means that I can't, or sorry, through the Wavelink software, which means that I can't do, um... Which means that I can't, uh... I can't hear what you guys are hearing. 
Because if I switch to that, then I'm not going to be hearing the game. Which is annoying. And then if I just flat out, um... Make it so I can hear myself, as if... To try and emulate it. The problem is that I don't hear the game volume that you guys are hearing. So I can't tell if the volume mix is good. And it just confuses me a lot because they gave this to like so many streamers and not a single person has mentioned this. Like in all the, like granted I got it, I ordered it really early, but the few reviews that were out there didn't mention this. So like the people that did get it in advance the streamers that were doing it earlier on. Like, nobody mentioned it as a potential issue. Yeah, and it's not even on the website page. Like, there's no list somewhere of works with the following capture cards. Or has been tested to work with the following capture cards. And then, and then you know, like, even just a list of does not currently work with the following Elgato capture cards, but that they're still, like, working on it. Apparently their team is working on it. Their team is trying to figure it out. I've emailed asking for a specific list of what it does and doesn't work with. I haven't received a response yet. I also emailed asking how all of the streamers that they have um, either given it to to promote it, or that have been early adopters are getting it to work. And like how their own people have gotten it to work. Granted, I've gotten it to work now since. But I want to see them give the answer. Because I want that... Like I said, the problem is that the mic is actually phenomenal. And even without being able to filter the game sound through it, if you're working on a two PC setup, or a two multi-system setup, the Wavelink is still worth it because I can still filter out Discord and, um, you know, I can have my sound effects on a separate channel and the browser on a separate channel. And if I do music, I can have that on a separate channel. So, I mean, it's still worth it. And the clip guard is freaking phenomenal. At least from what uh, Mux has been saying, from what he's heard. Like, I still get very loud. But I don't get distorted. So, I mean, it's just one of those things where it's like, the mic is good enough to sell itself, especially for the price of the Wave 1. Like, holy shit, the Wave 1 is only $10 more than my store sells it, sells the Yeti for. And it's got the built-in pop filter, the Wavelength software, and the clip guard. And then apparently it's got like a built-in, um... Low frequency uh, filter as well. That's built right into the wavelength software and or mic. And I mean, all of that stuff alone is worth the price. They don't need to be misleading about everything else. So I need to do a review video to actually go over all of this. Because again, the thing is, is you know, I'm sure as hell not sponsored by Elgato. At this point, with how they are being with this mic, I don't know if I would want to be sponsored by Elgato. Doesn't mean that I don't love their products, but I, I don't like how they're kind of being quiet about a lot of issues with the wave, the wave mics. And it's not even that I'm necessarily upset that it doesn't work, because yes, I have gotten this mic um, I have gotten this mic, like, super early. Like, what? I or I think I ordered it still in the first week of release. So, I mean, yes, there are going to be issues. It would have just been nice not to be, like, waste, like, what? What did we spend? Like, two or three days trying to figure out how to, um, get the capture card to show up in it. And then, like, a week of streaming with potentially subpar quality audio. And then another, like, day or two in tr trying to figure out how to get it to stop being distorted. 
and how to get it to work, like, without having to filter it through the wavelength. So it's like, just being up front, at least, would have saved us, like, probably that first week of issues. And we would have skipped right to trigger figuring out how to get it to bypass the wavelength entirely, without screwing everything else up. So, it's just one of those things where it's like... You have a phenomenal product, there's no reason to... To not just be honest about it. Right? I mean... Imagine if somebody somehow came up with a car that was, like, essentially free to run. Like, a solar-powered car that didn't need external electricity to power the battery. And, you know, never needed to be, like, topped up or anything. So, like, it was essentially, like, all you needed was the maintenance. It was essentially free to run. But it couldn't go over... Like, it couldn't hit highway speeds. So you always had to take the scenic route if you did it. That's not necessarily a bad thing. But you don't sell it without revealing that fact. Because you're gonna have a lot of shit come up. I believe it's the same thing with the wave mics. They are absolutely phenomenal. They are absolutely worth the money. The features that they have are absolutely incredible. But you don't sell it without telling the one downside. Because then you're just going to get a lot of people giving you shit because of that one downside. You're not going to have people going into it knowing what to expect. And that's the problem. Because apparently... And again, this may change. I'm waiting to get a list. But... All they say is that it works with their UVC capture cards. But the thing is, is they only have one actual UVC capture card, and that's the H. I think from what we found out, and that's the HD 60s Plus. And then their cam link is also UVC, but I don't know if that functions as an actual capture card, or if it only works with uh, DSLR cameras. So, I mean, to say that it works with, uh, to say that, you know, you can add your ca what, your capture cards as an audio source when only one of them actually works, that's extremely misleading. Especially when it's all over their sales pages and their sponsors are doing it and it's what they're advertising in their video, their setup videos and stuff and everything. Like, none of their setup videos even mention this issue. It's just like, add your game sound here. There's no setup videos for people using multi-PC setups. Unless it's with the HD60 S+. 30 years later, such credits. I know, I looked over and it was still going. I'm just like watching chat and chatting with you guys right now. So, oh, okay, here we go. I mean, I guess it's just going to take us back in and there isn't actually anything else, but... I wanted to make sure. It would have been cool if there was, like, something with, like, Juno. Like, showing how Juno got out. Like, right at the end. Like, at this point. At the end of the credits. Just showing, like, Juno walking out of the cave or something. Like, there wouldn't even have to be any dialogue or anything. Just Juno walking out of the cave. Oh! There is stuff!
be interesting if there's an Assassin's Creed where you like blurred time and could alternate between all the previous characters and they had different abilities and playstyles. Yeah. Okay, so there is a quest. That would be cool. I mean, there was a little bit of that in, uh, is it Revelations? Cause you did skip back to Altair. Okay, so I can fast travel around now. What do you mean, though, is, like, say, you're back in present day? I, d I thought about that, yeah. Yeah. That'd be kind of cool. If you're hungry... Have extra. No, thank you. Where is everyone? Uh, gone west. Been a while since they left. Seems some fella from New York was granted the land by Congress. What? Seeing it happen more and more. Government says they don't take land that's already owned, but. Uh... <laughs> How could this have happened? We're on our own now. No more merry English parts and labor. Which means we gotta go at it ourselves. Gotta pay for it too. Selling land is quick and easy. Not quite so nasty as taxes. And since some say they're what started the old war, ain't no rush to bring them back. <laughs> Clever men, these new leaders of ours. They know not to push it just yet. Too soon for taxes. Too... British. Wouldn't fit Thank the story you. really well because it would be far more fantasy like that, but would be inter interesting either way. Yeah! Be safe. Damn. So they just full on like stole his land still. Like, and I know that that's how it actually happened, too, which is, you know, really shitty. So where is this? Okay, so I gotta run to that one. For the finest, daintiest sleeve ruffles this side of Paris, step into Miss Gatehead's parlor. Past the 
I like how nobody cares that I, like, just steal a horse. There we go. There we go. Okay, all better. It's like, I don't remember if I ever did this, and I do want the little bits of story, so we're gonna at least do these, the quests that it's telling us are still here for the epilogue. It's like a lot more quiet now, though. Here, okay. Cause I don't know if I ever did this. Cause I don't know if I ever watched all this, the credits the first time I played this through. America has no need for Send your them back to Britain gentlemen. in a box. He's like looking at the irony because they're all like death to the oppressors and then there's a sale like an auction going on it's like yeah where else is this taking us all of this. And then I need to eat because I'm hungry. <laughs> Luckily it's like hot so my metabolism isn't like too much but I'm still hungry. Boston. We off to Boston. Right, Pickles? Are we off to Boston? Okay. Yes.
All right, we're up and running. This code is hacked to all hell. Nicely hacked, but hacked. The worm found three pivots before failing, so we've got those. You need to locate the remaining pivots on your own from inside. The three we've got will triangulate the rest. It's a sweet bit of hacking on my part, if I dare say. Each pivot detects the others in proximity. There should be 12 total. Everyone you find is supposed to produce a hex cipher, and that's what we're after. Once you find them all, we'll sequence the code, package the data, and Bob's your uncle. Now, don't putz around too much in revolutionary America. I know it's tempting. What the hell? Is this game not over? Does this actually give me anything interesting, or is this just something to do for endgame? So I've planted two of our pivots. Not easy from my end, believe you me. But there they are. You can see those two activating a buried one. Kinda. If you drop the third one we have, the buried pivot's precise location should resolve. Then go gather the hex cipher, rinse, and repeat. If you get a chance, I'd love to see Franklin's glass harmonica in person. Just a side note. Have fun! Okay, I'm gonna say that this is just probably for collectibles. I'll look into it. Either way, I'm gonna stop for now. Thank you guys so much for hanging out, and hopefully we'll see you guys all next time. We'll be back for some No Man's Sky in a few, in a couple of hours probably. Bye everybody.